to speak to school principals and superintendents about a wonderful educational event that's coming up in 2023 and 2024. What's up? An eclipse of the sun. The moon is going to be blocking the sun, and the entire continental U.S. is going to be able to see these events. I'm Dr. Doug Duncan, and I've been studying eclipses for 50 years. I've helped thousands and thousands of people watch safely, and I know that every single eclipse, millions of people watch this wonderful sky spectacle. But also at every eclipse, misconceptions come up and they interfere with many people being able to watch. And so this video will tell you about the misconceptions you are likely to encounter and give you good answers. So, should you encourage students to watch? Is this something that's dangerous? Sunlight is powerful radiation, and it can be dangerous. On any day, if you stared at the sun, you would hurt your eyes. Of course, if you look at the sun, you turn away, and that doesn't hurt your eyes. The difference on Eclipse Day is only that people are gonna wanna see what's happening with the sun. And so in order to do that, you have to protect your eyes. The upcoming eclipses are a wonderful opportunity for real hands-on experiential learning. Most teachers will want to take their students out of the classroom. The science standards of almost all states cover the solar system and the motions of the sun and the moon. And on this day, it's so dramatic, you can see it for yourself. In fact, many schools in the past have had school-wide events sometimes like a fair, the Eclipse Fair, and they have some music and some food. And uh, some schools have used this as a fundraiser where they get a bunch of safe Eclipse watching glasses that I'll tell you about and make those available to the whole community. These are not sunglasses, they're much, much darker, and they make it very easy to enjoy an Eclipse. If you don't have that equipment, then it's pretty easy to project an image of the sun. And we have a little video that shows you how you can make an image of the sun and let everybody watch safely. Many, many, many schools have done this safely in the past. 2017 was the last time there was a total eclipse in the US and a NASA survey said 100 million people saw the eclipse safely. At the last eclipse in England, uh, ophthalmologists studied if there was any eye damage, and in the entire country of England, there was no serious eye damage reported during an eclipse. As NASA's educational partner, we made short videos for teachers to prepare for this eclipse. Let's take a look at a snippet from those videos. Time got suspended. It was very surreal. Everyone was going crazy. It was awesome. Pretty cool. If something dramatic happens like this, it resonates inside of us because we're part of this universe. Oh, that was mind blowing. That was so cool. I almost, first eclipse, I almost didn't know where to look. I was watching the mountains disappear as the shadow came. I was watching the shadow bands on the ground. I watched the corona, the prominences, the planets you can see. It was, oh, that was the fastest two and a half minutes of my life. So all of this adds up to say that if you watch safely, you could really enjoy this. And it's something students and families and teachers will remember their entire life. Whatever you do, please encourage students and teachers to go outside and experience this wonderful sky event. This is fun science. This is almost profound. Everyone, whether they're interested in science or not, loves to see an eclipse, to actually see how the solar system works. And this is a great field trip. You don't even need a bus. Any school, anywhere, just come outside and experience the eclipse. That's what NASA recommends, and that's what we recommend here at Fisk Planetarium. Thank you very much.